Well, good morning, YouTube, and uh, hi, it's Brent from Brent's Van Life. What a wonderful way to wake up. I woke up, it is uh, shortly after 8 o'clock this morning, and it is my granddaughter's 10th birthday. That's right, double digits. So I just got off FaceTime with her and uh, sung her happy birthday, and my heart feels kind of full right now. Um, Today, well, I'll show you. We are hitting the road. We're heading north. And what's the trip north without stopping and seeing the goats up on the roof? I'm not sure what I'm doing. We stopped in and did a quick little look around at the uh, Coombs Hungry Bear there and uh, saw the goats on the roof. And uh, we're just kind of heading north uh, towards the next exit onto the highway, but I'm contemplating maybe going to Tofino. I think we're gonna go to Colton Beach to see if we can find a spot on the beach down there because there's a couple spots that they allow you to actually camp overnight on the ocean. So let's go see if we can find a spot. You ready? Let's do it. Uh, welcome to Qualicum Beach. Uh, Qualicum Beach is a quaint little town here right along the water. Beautiful golf cars, very slimly populated. But it's a retirement type community. It's gorgeous here. We are making our way to the ocean. This is heading towards the east coast. We're heading east. And this is our lovely golf course. Yeah, that's right. We drive right through the middle of it. <laughs> Another one of Vancouver's uh, Vancouver Islands. Little hidden gems. What do you think? Just uh, show Matt the uh, accommodations for the evening. Uh, it's a little spot here just north of Qualicum Beach. A uh, dirt little pad that people come in at night and uh, spend the evenings. Just quaint, eh? <laughs> I mean, truly blessed to be living here on Vancouver Island. It is uh, October, like the end of October. And I mean, it is fabulous here. And that was a mosquito. <laughs> uh, as beautiful as we thought that spot was. Uh, we came to a conclusion that I'm not going to be go driving out to Tofino, or I wouldn't be, but if we put in the time tonight, we can get halfway there. So the plan is, we're going to take this highway, and we're going to head towards Tofino, find a spot to uh, hunker down overnight, and um, take you guys to Tofino tomorrow. And maybe you kill it. So, uh, we'll see you when we get to where we're going, and then we're gonna say, uh, dodo, or, uh, goodnight, okay? So, uh, I'll catch you guys when I get there. <sighs> nice fire going. That's right, coffee, well, water's boiling. <sighs> That's up. And it's a little before eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm just gonna get a coffee uh, into a uh, travel mug and uh, we're gonna take off from the rest area. I'll show it to you as soon as I get dressed. <laughs>
This is the Sprout Lake uh, rest area here on the way to Tofino. Uh, we pulled in here late last night. It was kind of dark, so didn't get any pictures. I thought I'd show you what it looked like this morning. Fall is upon us, and I'm telling you, it is freaking gorgeous out. We're off to Tofino. Do you want to go to Tofino? Yeah? You want to go to Tofino? Do you want to go to Tofino? Do you? Do you? Do you, do you want to go to Tofino? Yeah, you want to go to Tofino? You want to go to Tofino? You want to go to Tofino? <laughs> You've already been to Tofino. <laughs> So we got our poop in a group and uh, we're uh, getting ready to take off here. So uh, let's hit the road. Let's go see what uh, this highway has to offer. This is Highway 4. Highway 4 basically leaves that spine highway that goes up and down the island, north to south, and heads straight out to uh, to Fido and you Cuban. One way in, one way out. And it's an old, windy highway. Pretty nice, eh? We have the best day for traveling today. It is going to be gorgeous. Back in the olden days, we had to like climb down the rocks, but now that uh, it's a park, they actually have stairs going down. <laughs> it's been pretty funny. I've been traveling about 80 kilometers an hour along here because it is a windy road, and Matt's from Calgary. And he's even way behind me because it is. It's such a beautiful drive. And today is a beautiful day. So he's taking it all in. And, of course, he's way ahead of me. <laughs> this whole area in the springtime is covered with water. Still a little bit uh, chilly in the shade, but uh, yeah, well, it's winter. Well, it's autumn, so uh, let's hit the road and uh, see what other kind of special things we can find. <laughs> Uh, my next little spot I like to stop at. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a PSA, a public service announcement. I need to say uh, sorry, Ruth. <laughs> oh, and Jose. <laughs> I didn't come out here with either of them. <laughs> so I don't really like going out here. But I think I needed this one here because... Uh, there are some pretty tranquil places that I have missed. We're back on the road. Uh, that last little bit uh, of the footage there, that's uh, all the construction they've been doing for the last five or six years cleaning up the highway, making it less dangerous. We had lost two uh, ambulance workers. They were uh, driving back from a car accident and they went off the cliff there and ended up into the lake. So it's nice to get that place cleaned up and they did a pretty good job. We are just outside uh, the Y in the road where Highway 4 takes a Y and one goes south to Eculet, the other goes north to Jafina.
So this is the visitor uh, information booth. The highway here splits, that goes down to Uculet. When we go that way, we're gonna head up to Tofino. We're gonna head into Yuki first. Uh, we're just gonna check out a few things here. You know, like carvings. Uh, I'm gonna go inside the information booth, see if there's anything pamphlets that I might need, but uh, yeah, I believe there's a fee for here, so I gotta look into that. a sticker this is uculet uh we're heading uh, that way uh to the end of town there's a, a lighthouse at the uh, very southern tip here of uculet uh here on the island here so we're gonna head her down and take the boys out for a little walk we're at the amphitrite point lighthouse we're gonna take the pups for a walk around uh take them down to the beach um and just yeah go do a little exploring so fireplace uh, after leaving uh Uculet last night late afternoon we decided we needed a place to go and find to hunker down cook dinner and relax the weather wasn't going to be that great today we ended up 30 kilometers outside of the turnoff to both Uculet and Tofino we're up the road going to Tocourt Bay and we're just on a Pull out the side road. Well, let's go side and have a look. Uh, that's the main road there to uh, Secret Beach in Tokor Bay. And we're up the Broken Island Access Road, which has got a gate across it. And as you can see, well, see, it's gray out. It's trying to rain out. It's spitting out on us. Uh, poured last night. Sounds so good on the bus. Oh, and when it pours up here in the mountains, you have to look up. Yeah, that's white stuff, all right. Overall, I think we're kind of cozy. We're not bugging anybody. Mind you, there was two vehicles that drove by. That start honking as soon as they see you, and they honk. Keep the horn on all the way past. Wong. Now I don't know if that's Karen or if somebody just going. Ah, let's wake those guys up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go back in, finish cleaning up, and uh, we'll talk to Maddie, see what he wants to do today. Okay, everything's cleaned up except for my bed, but we're gonna cover that. Fall is definitely upon us. It is chilly. Thank goodness we have some heat. Matt's having a problem with his heater. Uh, we're taking a drive to Tofino. That was, that's what the plan is. So follow along, we're gonna stop by, get our permits and then head her north slowly, checking out a few beaches and a few places along the way. I forgot to put a few things away. Not gonna lie, it is chilly out. My fingertips are all frozen. 
Uh, pack it up, let's go turn around, we're gonna start heading out. The morning is upon us. I guess to get this baby turned around. Cleaner than when we got here. Let's go, Maddie. I don't think we could have picked a better day. We had to hunker down for two nights. Um, all day yesterday it was just pouring down rain off and on. It started raining yesterday afternoon, or the day before afternoon. So we've been out in the woods, just hunkered down where you guys saw us, and we're going to head up towards Tofino. Cur currently, we're here at the um, Yukila Visitors Center. And, uh, yeah, picked up our tickets. We're ready to roll. To trim up the trees, lads. Keep the power going to Tofina. Our first stop, the Wicked Inish Point Lookout. That's right. This is where I like to park though. Not let him look at this. We're gonna go down the jungle here first. <coughs> this is uh what's known as dense west coast forest. You can feel the humidity in the air <laughs> and along all the boardwalks. Yeah. That's sad. See that tree work? That's what Matt used to do on the highways. <laughs> Sadly, the visitor's uh, information booth is closed here. There's a bit of a museum inside there. So if you're out here, make sure you're in the holiday or no, what do they call it? Visitor information time. So be open because there's some unique stuff inside that <laughs> we can't show you. We're going to go find some sunshine. Just so gorgeous here. <laughs> See if the boys are okay. Okay, so that's the beach here on Long Beach. Uh, it's called the Wicked Ninish Point Road. So we have her on there. We hung out there for a bit. We're moving on to the next. There's probably a good four or five different beaches we can park along along the way up to Javino. So we're stopping and showing a few of them off. Let's get going. I've never carried bear spray the whole time I've lived on the island. I'm a tough guy.
Does this not say, Hi, I'm a surfer, written all over it? <laughs> yeah, baby. There you go, folks. We have officially made it. We are in Tofino. And there's their number one advertising gimmick. A car sits on Volkswagen. That crap's posted everywhere. <laughs> Literally, that sidewalk goes all the way, basically from Eucula to Tofino now. I'm shocked at it. Some of the most beautiful forests you'll get to drive through. So bring a bike, okay? Well, that was weird. That's right. The old man started to pull hard a little bit. And I found out there's a brewery here on the corner. So we're stopping here at uh, Tofino Brewing yeah. and uh, picking up a flight. Yeah. Let's see if they have any stickers. <laughs> well, that was a mighty fine pit stop. Check out these little uh, artsy fartsy traffic separation thing or bobs. Uh, so I replenished at the guy co-op grocery store, got some more food. Uh, just popped down here to put it away down here at the waterfront, getting some last gas of Tofino. And I think we'll go find a place to hunker down for the night. While Matt takes the time out and is experiencing van life at his max. <laughs> Take more pictures. <laughs> Uh, but before we leave Tofino, and before we leave the uh, Federal Park, we're going to take one little quick stop up here at uh, Radar Hill. So your nice 100 meter uh, walk will be sufficient for this old guy. I think we're gonna take luxury over uh, just a spot. There's a place up here that's got uh, picnic tables at it, so let's get on the road. Yeah. Uh, so we're at the uh, Kennedy River pullout. Hi, sexy. 